fresh air, the scent of pine. Wednesday. Look at all the other children, their freckles, their bright little eyes, their eager, friendly smiles. Help them. Hi, I'm Amanda Buckman. Why are you dressed like that? Like what? Like you're going to a funeral. Why are you dressed like somebody died? Wait. Hi, Don Buckman. Isn't this place something else? Very exclusive. Really? Oh, yeah, kid has to be extra special to get in here. Gifted. Exceptional. Our Amanda's already skipped two grades. How about your boy? Probation. We just love Chippewa. Amanda couldn't wait. It's all she talked about. She's got a whole new wardrobe. And this little lady? Oh, Wednesday's at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind. Boys. Homicide. Attention! Hey, listen up, everybody! I'm Gary Granger! And I'm Becky Martin Granger! We're the honors and directors here at Camp Chippewa, America's foremost facility for privileged young adults. And we're all here to learn, to grow, and to just plain have fun! Because that's what being privileged is all about! Cannot break bread with you. Huh? Becky, what's going on? Wednesday! You have taken the land which is rightfully ours. Years from now, my people will be forced to live in mobile homes, on reservations. Your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs. We will sell our bracelets by the roadsides. You will play golf and enjoy hot hors d'oeuvres. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick shifts. The gods of my tribe have spoken. They have said, do not trust the pilgrims, especially Sarah Miller. Gary, she's changing the words. And for all these reasons, I've decided to scalp you and burn your village to the ground. <laughs> Player. Oh, he's a special child, but he needs friends. He needs friends like this? my brother? No, he doesn't want to see you, any of you, or that. Why not? Because he's in love. He's wrapped in a gossamer blanket of ecstasy, and he hates your guts. But why? Because you flaunted yourselves, your great love affair. You kept him a child, I've made him a man. Let me hear this from his own lips. His lips are busy! You want to talk to these people? Debbie. Go away! That is not my brother. Sorry. You have enslaved him. You have placed Fester under some strange sexual spell. 
I respect that. But please, may we see him? Don't even think about it. You have gone too far. You have married Fester. You have destroyed his spirit. You have taken him from us. All that I could forgive. But Debbie... What? Pastels? Get out of my house! Hit the road! And if you ever show your faces around here again, I'll have you locked up for trying to visit. Pugsley, the baby weighs 10 pounds. The cannonball weighs 20 pounds. Which will hit the stone walkway first? I'm still on fractions. Which do you think? The cannonball? Very good. But which one will bounce? The baby? There's only one way to find out. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. What a glorious evening. Rain. Caramia. Oh, dear. Children, why do you hate the baby? We don't hate him. We just want to play with him, especially his head. Children, do you think we love the baby more than we love you? Yes. Do you think that when a new baby arrives, one of the other children has to die? Yes. Well, that's just not true. <sighs> not anymore. My latest husband. My late husband, Fester. The fool. The corpse. And his adorable family. You took me in. You accepted me. But did any of you love me? Really love me? Hands! Jewelry. 